What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today, we're gonna be using Cynthia's team on the Showdown VGC ladder. I actually just made this team last night while I was bored and you know, I finally have time to make videos again. Also, I'm not in my own space so the acoustics are a bit off, uh, but I finally have time to make videos again. I thought this would be a fun one to come back with. Um, I was really curious as to like which champion had the best VGC team and if you guys want me to make this like a little mini series I'm down to do it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make that make that the common question today Let me know if you're interested in seeing me do all the champions from each region as a Pokemon team in VGC but Cynthia seemed the most attractive to me in VGC mainly because like she has access to Garchomp, Togekiss, and Milotic, which are three really decent VGC Pokemon. Along with that, she has access to some pretty interesting tools uh, with Rindoberry, Storm Drain, Gastrodon, uh, and Spiritomb actually is a pretty slept-on Pokemon. And you can hear my rat drinking water in the background. <laughs> but uh, we also have uh, Lucario on this team. It's just Inner Focus, Focus Ash. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'm going to try to bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. But yeah. Uh, let me see. I, I'm like considering stopping the video until my rat finishes drinking water. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Be right back. Okay, I think he's done. <laughs> so... Uh, this is gonna be a standard Life Orb Garchomp, Rough Skin, Stomping Tantrum, Sword Dance, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, uh, Jolly, Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 Special Defense. We have a, a what is it, it's an Assault Vest Infiltrator Spiritomb. It's actually got some really cool tools to it. I'm surprised Spiritomb hasn't seen, you know, usage in previous formats, really. Like, Series 5 it was legal, I think. I'm pretty sure it was, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was Series 7. Regardless, it's got some interesting tools. So. What I'm running is Burning Jealousy, Foul Play, Snarl, and Icy Wind, just a full support set. And it's got max HP, enough defense to take a, an, an Adamant uh, Landorus max Airstream with a Life Orb. So I can actually Burning Jealousy that thing. And uh, just the rest is dumped into Special Defense with the Assault Vest to really pack on that bulk. Next up we have Razor Claw, Super Luck, Togekiss. Don't ask me what this spread does, I stole it from the internet. <laughs> and we have uh, a Leftovers Competitive Milotic Coil, Hypnosis, Muddy Water Recover. This is actually a very specialized set. It's able to take a Timid Magnet Regieleki Thunderbolt, and it's able to take a Grassy Glide from Rillaboom at plus one defense. Um, and also, it's able to take, I feel like the, you know, the Grassy Glide was given, uh, but also it's able to take a Max Airstream from Landorus uh, with Adamant Life Orb. Once again, literally just because I want to be able to actually punish the Landorus uh, with a Muddy Water if it decides to intimidate me. Uh, we have the Rindoberry Gastron. It's another set I stole from the internet. And here we have Focus Sash, Inner Focus Lucario, Close Combat, Meteor, Me Meteor Mash, Extreme Speed, and Swords Dance. Sorry for all the noise in the background. I am not in my own space. So, yeah. This team was something I was using the other day, and we actually got a decent amount of wins with it. And I've been, you know, I've just been messing around with it to all day today. I've had nothing better to do. Uh, so, yeah, it's a fun little team, and this, this looks like a game for Spirit Tomb. You'll see why in a minute here. Uh, I'm going to be able to snarl pretty much everything on that side of the field, and I'm going to be able to Burning Jealousy the uh, Metagross, hopefully. So what I want to do is I want to lead off with, I think Garchomp Spirit Tomb isn't a bad lead, mainly because if they lead off with Regieleki, you have a lot of options there, and I can actually switch out on an ice move or a steel move uh, from the Metagross into my Milotic here, which seems like a really good mod. I'm not gonna lead off with Milotic, I'm slightly tempted to. However, um, I'm just mainly concerned about the Regieleki lead, or maybe actually it's better just to go Spirit to Milotic, because Garchomp switches in on electric moves anyway, so yeah, I can do that. And I think my last mod here, um, Togekiss looks pretty okay, but Focus Slash Lucario isn't looking bad either. I think I'll just go Togekiss, because we know it's a great mod. GLHF, as they go with Spectre or Porygon, which I'm pretty cool with, to be honest. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and Snarl and set up a, a Coil here. They really don't have much to KO me. Like, they're not taking... I'm pretty sure I meant to say you too. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be taking too much from this hit. And also, I think my Showdown is... Is that the right size for Showdown? It might be a little bit too big. No, it's fine. I think. Let me double check. I, I might mess with the... Oh wow, okay, you know, I'm just not gonna mess with it. It's fine, it's fine. So, I do get off my coil. They get a crit 
on my um, my Lotic, which is a little bit annoying, but I do get the special attack drop. And I can actually just go ahead and Snarl and recover real quick. Uh, the reason I'm going to recover is because I'm expecting to take it, uh, another hit from the Spectre here. They're probably going to give up on the Spirit Tomb. As they will me in the Misty Terrain, which is interesting. Get another Snarl off. Uh, this Spectre is now in range of a possible Snarl KO, considering it's been taking 36. Misplay. It's all good. Alright. Let me Snarl. I'm just going to Coil again. I'm like, I have no fear of this Milotic. Or of this Tapu Fini. Especially with Snarl at my side. Like, yeah, they can do whatever they want. I'm just going to stall out their, uh, their turns of Misty Terrain, then I can put them to sleep. That special defense drop could be kind of annoying, though. Mainly because I don't think I'm taking that Moonblast as well as I want to. Uh, I could switch out here into Togekiss. Because Crit Kiss looks really good here. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to switch out into Crit Kiss, and I'm going to go ahead and Coil again. Because I take these hits relatively well from Porygon, too. They call mine again. Yeah, Crit Kiss is looking pretty good here as they actually decide to go for that. There's only a couple turns left of Misty Terrain. Um, I'm gonna. Dang, this is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Spirit Tomb and I'm gonna click Muddy Water because I don't really need any more accuracy boost. That's gonna hurt. As they go for a Max Hailstorm, which I'm fine with. Accuracy drops? Hey, there we go. Miss? Hey, a uh, special attack drop? No, aw. I really wanted the competitive boost. Uh, but I should be underspeeding both of these guys and snarling again. Uh, and I can actually just go ahead and... I could recover here, since I'm probably going to take a hit. That gets rid of the boost in the Porygon too. They max Hailstorm me, I go down. They Calm Mind, recover off that damage. Uh, I don't know, I think I want to go with Togekiss just because the Crit Kiss looks really nice. Um, so I suppose I'll go Garchomp here just to eat a hit and die, uh, and I guess I'll just go for damage with like Stomping Tantrum into Tapu Fini. And now their Misty Terrain's gone, so I'm going to go ahead and just Hypnosis this Porygon too. Yep. As they Calm Mind up, perfectly fine by me. Let me go ahead and start Max Airstreaming this thing, and going for a Hypnosis. I don't really mind taking damage on the Stoicus now. Like, they've lost a lot of tools to beat me, and I just have to get a couple of crits with Crit Kiss, which isn't too difficult to do. Oop. I might have to focus my efforts somewhere else. I do not want that uh, Porygon 2 to do anything, so I'm going to go for another Hypnosis here. I just have to keep clicking Max Airstream. Um, one crit should be enough, I just need them to not wake up this turn. Alright, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. Nice. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Because uh, I always just max airstream the P2 for the KO here. Tapu Fini isn't really a threat. I, I keep clicking Muddy Water until they just can't hit me. Uh, and they shouldn't be able to one-shot Togekiss, and I can just start clicking Dazzling Gleam. And if they bring in the Incineroar, that'd be great, because they haven't revealed their last Mon, I believe. Yeah, they, they have one more Pokemon to, uh, to reveal, and I believe it's probably going to be Incineroar. Yep, there it is. So that should be game. Uh, I can go ahead and click Dazzling Gleam and Muddy Water here. They don't really have any options for beating me at this point. The fact that they were, like, really, really adamant about not showing that last Mon was a good tell that it was going to end up being Incineroar. So they go for the Moonblast. Nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and just put that Tapu Fini back to sleep, I think. Or I could just Dazzle and Gleam Muddy Water. I think I'm fine just to do that, to be honest. Yeah, because I should KO this Incineroar. Because I don't get a crit. And that doesn't KO. This is going to be a lot closer than I want it to be. It's in my best interest to Hypnosis this Tapu Fini. Because I'm not really scared of Incineroar now. But Tapu Fini uh, is going to be really annoying if it starts Calm Mining again. So I'll keep Muddy Watering.
Nice. How many do I have left? I have 12 left. That should be enough to win because I don't believe they have any recovery. I just have to not miss my moves. Or if they get a special attack drop on me, that's actually to my benefit because it means I don't have to land as many. Let me see. I'm doing about 8% with each one of these, so I'm fine. It's very unlikely I lose. Yeah, GG. Special attack drop? Nope. What do you want her? Nice. I get the crit too. I don't think it mattered though, considering they were... Actually, they actually did a decent amount, but I think I just had to land two. So it was it was in my favor anyway. So yeah, good game to them. That was a nice little showcase of my Lodic. Okay, as we're facing uh, just good stuff's Regieleki, this is another game where Spiritomb just goes crazy. I'm going to go ahead and go... Um, I could go Spiritomb, Milotic, Garchomp in the back. Gastrodon's looking pretty bad this game. I think I'm just going to go Togekiss again. Honestly, once I get rid of the, um... What's it called? Once I get rid of the Aleki, it's... It's, like, just free for the, uh... For the Togekiss. Hey, he knows me. Hey. <laughs> he knows my ult. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so, uh, by the way, I, I am gonna be streaming tonight. I'm gonna try to be live streaming again. I don't know if I'll have a face cam because my setup kind of limits the reach of my USB cords. It's hard to explain. I'll explain on stream tonight, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll have a face cam, uh, but I will be trying to stream around like six or five or something. And I'm gonna be using this team. I'm just gonna see how high I can climb with the Cynthia team. So they have to go Dragapult Toekus. That's fine by me. I should take any one hit. And I'm not really scared of this Dragapult because most of its moves aren't very good versus me. So, um, unless it's like Crit Kiss, I don't have too much to fear. I'm going to go ahead and Snarl. And I will attempt to Coil. This might be a horrible idea. Is the Airstream? They're probably Crit Kiss if they're doing that. Hey, but they only got the crit in the Milotic, so it's fine. Let me get this Snarl off. Are you policy? That'd be awful for me. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just... I think my play here is to... Just go for an... I think I'm just going to Snarl again. I could even foul play the Drag Bolt, but I think Snarl's better just to decrease the damage output from non-crits. And I'm somewhat tempted to Hypnosis right now, but I know the recover's safer, so I'm going to recover. Nice. Okay, so don't crit. And actually, like, even with a crit, it wouldn't have KO'd there, which is pretty pretty baller for me. Alright, so I should eat this Dragoblet hit pretty well. Uh, and I can just max Airstream this turn and uh, recover. Is they have to go for Regieleki, which is fine by me. They air slash me. No crit for me. Um, but I am specifically calced to eat this hit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just max airstream and go for a Muddy Water. So as long as it's not Modest or Life Orb. Because I can take Timid Thunderbolt, right? I, timid Magnet Thunderbolt. I can't take Modest Magnet Thunderbolt. Or, you know, Life Orb or anything. There it is. There it is. There's the calc. <laughs> That's what we calc that for. That is what we calc that for. Give me that. Give me that. All right. And now, I think I'm just in a winning position because I can KO this Tokus. I don't really mind losing my... Yeah, no, I just always go for the Tokus. I always go for the Tokus here. And I can try to recover. I'm just going to get faked out. But now I'm just in a position to click like Dazzling Gleam and stuff. Nice. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll D-Gleam. That should KO the Dragapult. It should. <laughs> no promises. Let me use Stomping Tantrum. Let me see. Come on. Nice. GG. Well played. 
Cynthia team a little too strong, man. Like, this is a really cool squad, to be honest. This is a really cool squad, and I'm enjoying using it. It's been a while since I enjoyed using a team in Pokemon, but the Cynthia team, that goes crazy. That goes absolutely insane. Uh, we do have the option to follow me here. Or, <laughs> or alternatively, alternatively. Nah, nah, I'm just gonna follow me. Uh, follow me lead is pretty safe. Um, I could go, this is gonna be dumb. I'm gonna go Spiritomb uh, Tokus because he's always gonna just Steel Spike and beat up. So regardless, I get the burn on that thing. And then if I bring my Lodic in the back, it actually goes kind of crazy, but I think, no, in this game, Gastron's a lot better. So I'm gonna go Gastron and Garchomp. Okay, check this out. Regardless of what they do, I get a burn on this Cobalion and the Dragapult. So I'm gonna follow me this turn, and I'm gonna go for the Burning Jealousy, because if they Dynamax this Cobalion, or if they beat up the Cobalion or whatever, as long as this Cobalion Dynamaxes, I get this. As they beat up, they're gonna Steel Spike me. They're gonna Steel Spike me, and then both of these get burned. That's fine. I'm fine trading the Togekiss for this. I am fine with that. Oh, of course they're Lumberry. Of course they're Lumberry. Um, on the bright side, Cabalion's got pretty bad physical defense. Or bad special defense. So I could just Dynamax this thing. And go for another one. That did not work out for me. I'm very upset. I mean, they're also not Assault Vest, so... This might work out anyways, depending on what they go for on my Gastron. They Steel Spike the Spirit Tomb. How much am I doing here? <laughs> I messed up. I messed up. It was Lumberry. Uh, I could go for the Gamer Play and just do this. Just Max Guard the Gastron, assuming that they would want to KO that first. Okay, yeah, we're facing one of those. Alright, GG. GG. <laughs> Freaking ally switch. Alright. I mean, they got the play right anyways, but still, I hate playing ally switch. Okay. This is interesting. It kind of looks like a... This looks like a 2018 team. This is this is a team right now, 2018. Hmm. My Lotic goes crazy here, though. My Lotic goes absolutely stupid. So I'm going to go ahead and just lead off, uh, I think my Lotic Spirit Tomb is once again just a really solid lead here. And I'm actually feeling the Lucario in this game, to be completely honest. I'm really feeling that Lucario. I think for my last Mon, um, it's pretty hard to find a reason not to go Togekiss in that last slot. It's just such a good Mon, yeah. I wonder how much time I wasted in this video waiting for my rat to stop drinking water. Tapu Fini, Ferrothorn, I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. Okay, let me go ahead and go with uh, Togekiss here. And I could Burning Jealousy the scare off this Ferrothorn, but I think the Snarl's safer. That did a lot. That's Specs Finny. That's gotta be like Specs Finny. There's the Leech Seed. Uh, let me go ahead and just double out into my Lotic. Because I don't want to take much more damage on this Togekiss, and I'll Snarl once more. Nice. And this should be a turn I can coil up. And I'm fine losing the Spiritomb here, because I'm really not scared of this uh, Tyranitar. Uh, looks like I'll just Snarl one more time. See if I can get it off. I likely won't, but it's fine just going for it. My goal here is to be able to get off a Coil to wall this Tyranitar out, and then just get in the, uh, get in the, uh, Togekiss next to this thing, and just one-shot that Furathorn with Max Flare. There's the Gleam. Should be able to Coil this. And now I'll eat whatever, I'm sure. It's the Rockfall. Yeah, and I can recover off that damage. Let me go Lucario here just to scare them. <laughs> Let me go ahead and recover. Um, and I'm immune to that sand damage. I'm actually somewhat tempted to recover and Meteor Mash here. Assuming they're going to like protect or switch in something. 
So you go Ferrothorn, that's fine. That's fine. It, this this endgame is coming down entirely to Milotic Togekiss anyways. So, I could care less. Uh, let me recover again. And here, I should be able to eat whatever this Ferrothorn wants to go for if I can get this close combat off, but I'm not entirely certain this is going to one-shot. You might be thinking, Marcos, you idiot, of course it's going to one-shot, but check this out. This is a Tyranitar. Tyranitar eats everything. Told you. Told you. What'd I tell you? Oh, it's fine. They knuckled. It all worked out in the end, especially since they missed the Iron Defense. So, um... I can't miss a Muddy Water. It's not physically possible. So I just win pretty much. I just max flare this Ferrothorn. Yeah, no. I was going to say, like, it, it, Tyranitar, when it's Dynamaxed, it's absurdly bulky. Especially with Sand Up. And I know that Sand only boosts Special Defense, but still. Like, that's crazy. That's insane. Alright, bye, Ferrothorn. You're not taking this even though, you know, you're Ferrothorn. Alright, uh, I should. Should is in, like, hard quotations. Um be able to take this out. I think they're going to switch out the Ferrothorn here. Probably for Tyranitar, because they probably see an endgame where they, like, KO me and win with uh, the Ferrothorn in the end. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think maybe I should be able to win with Muddy Water or Max Air Shim and Defini if I crit. Finny feels like my priority right now. Because I think they're just going to go ahead and get out of there with the Ferro. Special attack boost, please. Thank you. Thank you. And this should KO now. So you go for the Leech Seed. That's fine. I have Recover. And I'm assuming they're just going to go into Tyranitar here. Or possibly the Ferrothorn if they have it. Or not the Ferrothorn. The um, Incineroar. But they don't have it. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll... What's the likelihood of a Sash? The Sash isn't unlikely, so I'm going to Muddy Water and Max Flare. Okay. And I can recover. I just barely live that. And now I go for Heat Wave. And that should secure me a double KO if I land even one crit on the Ferrothorn. I just have to not miss. This is becoming very close. uncomfortably close even and yeah I forgot they could do that my bad <laughs> that's game GG I'm not winning that I mean I could try but it's not happening yeah no 97% yeah that's game I messed up I completely forgot they could just switch in the T-Tar okay sorry rats were drinking water had to cut off there <laughs> okay let's get another I don't know how long this video is. It might be short, it might be long. I'm trying to like actually get like a decent length video out. Let's see. Can I please get a battle? Can I please get a battle, Pokemon? Please? There we go. Alright. So. Uh, looks like pretty interesting Trick Room Squad. <laughs> It, it's like half Trick Room, half straight up Hyper Offense. Both modes have like no answer to Spiritomb though. And Gastrodon looks incredible, just generally speaking. Uh, I could go Spiritomb Gastrodon on lead and feel pretty safe with everything. And I think in the back here... Um, I can also go Lucario and try to one-shot that thing on lead, but it's not worth it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the... I mean, mm, Sash Lucario isn't terrible. It's just not good. I'm going to bring Garchomp in the back, and I think my last Mon kind of has to be my Lodic. So double water type this game. All right, check this out. Burning Jealousy. Burning Jealousy, and... Hmm. I feel like they're just going to... Airstream or something. I could yawn that Clefairy. Yeah, they're just gonna Airstream.
So they Moonblast me, I live. Don't be Lum. Yeah, the Yawn was just there in case they didn't go for that. As they are not Lum, good news for me. And now I just feel pretty good <laughs> about winning the rest of the game, to be honest. Uh, Milotic looks to be really, really good. I might even just Dynamax the Scatron, to be honest. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just give them this thing. Go for damage on the Clefairy. They can Knuckle, I don't care. Alright. And now, I should be able to go Milotic and Coil up. I should have Earth Power that Clefairy, I'm dumb. Go for the Earth Power here. I don't really care about Knuckle or anything. They Airstream again. Kind of a confusing play in my opinion. So they go for the Sing and they land it. That's great. That's great. I know I'm running Hypnosis, but at least I'm not running Sing. Alright, let me see. Uh, I really don't want Gastron to be my win con here. But to be fair, everything else kind of loses to Garchomp if I play my cards right. I can try to Muddy Water here. But I don't want to give that thing a, a boost. I'll go ahead and I'll just double into this Urshifu right now. Is there Giga Impact? That actually leaves me a pretty good opening. Alright. Uh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I can try to recover. And uh, maybe a Quake will one-shot, but I really doubt it. focus you down. I'm really not too scared of, uh, really not too scared of anything in the back, to be honest. It's mainly just the Braviary, even though it's, like, at burn with plus one attack. Giga Impact still does a pretty significant amount of damage. This looks like they're gonna give me their Regieleki. Yeah, interesting. KOing Urshifu might be doable, because I think they have to protect here. I'm going to go ahead and max Rock Fall. I could also max Worm Wind. I think if I max Rock Fall here, I have a chance of winning. On the Braviary, because... Nah, they just KO me. Oh no, I won. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice, alright. For some reason, I thought they had one more Pokemon. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I don't know why I thought they had another Pokemon. Alright, let's see. As we're facing Rain, I actually don't know how well Spiritomb does versus Rain, but I know that they have, like, no Grass-type moves on this team, and we got a Gastrodon, so it's pretty it's pretty in our favor. And, like I said, we're capped to take a hit from this, uh, from Lando. So I think I'm just going to keep the Gastro in the back. <clears throat> and I could lead off Milotic expecting the Lando lead, considering they can't lead off with Rain pretty reliably. What if I just don't bring Gastro on? What if I just mess with them? I feel like Gastro's safe, though, you know. I'll bring Togekiss here, and I think I'm willing to bring Double Water type again. Did I bring Double Water type last game? I did, yeah. I'm willing to bring Double Water type again. Just because their team does not like Gastro on very well, and I could take advantage of that Lando lead with the uh, Milotic. All right. So they go Celesteela, a Selgor. I'm assuming they're gonna be like Acid Spray, a Selgor. Um, I can just go for a Snarl here, and I'm pretty willing to go Gastrodon here to eat the hit from Celesteela because of how specially defensive Gastrodon can be. They are Acid Spray, that's fine. I should take it because I'm AV. It's the Meteor Beam me. Yeah, I take that. Goodbye. Say goodbye to your boost. And... Assuming they wouldn't do that again, I would assume they Flash Cannon here. I'm going to go ahead and go Milotic here and try to yawn the Celesteela. Because I, I can get a boost off of that.
If they acid spray, they're gonna max air shoot me. I think I might still live that. So go for the Milotic. Get my yawn off, that's great. Awesome, phenomenal. And here. I mean, they're not really a threat to me, are they? Kind of looks like if I just get a max airstream off with Togekiss at the right time, I kind of just win. Let me think. I think I'll give them Spirit Tomb here and just protect. Nice. Uh, so here I'm just going to go ahead and... Rather not lose to this thing. How much is it going to take from uh, Burning Jealousy? I could double the, the Asselgore because it's really the only thing standing in my way. Like, I'm mostly concerned with that. I'll Snarl here and I'll just Scald the Asselgore. Like, unless the Asselgore has... Yeah, it's just got, like, Struggle Bug. And Celesteela isn't scary without the Asselgore helping it out. And it doesn't look like they KO me. Let me think. So, Struggle Bug did 21% to Gastron. They would have to double Gastron to KO. And they'd ha also have to wake up. So I'm just going to Snarl and Scald again. So if Celesteela stays asleep, or even, even if that happens, like, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I think they lost their opportunity to win there. What do they have in the back? Politoed? I'm cool with Politoed. I can live with Politoed. As it's Landotherian, okay, that's fine by me. Um, let me attempt this Icy Wind. I don't. Once again, I don't mind giving them Spirit Tomb here. Because Toekiss is going to be my win con, just air streaming and stuff. Uh, and... I could... They're probably just going to Rock Slide anyways. I think I'm just going to give them Gastro and attempt another Yawn. Yeah, that's fine. They Swords Dance, fine by me. Give me the Tokus. Fine by me. Let me get in this Milotic here. Save the Spirit Tomb. And I'll Airstream that Lando. And I do have Max Flare so that Celesteela isn't safe to come in on my Togekiss. Let's see how much this does. No crit, but I think we're fine. Is the Earthquake. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. So. I think my play here, since I'm at a speed tier where Dazzling Gleam would KO both it and Kingdra, is to focus down the Celesteela. I'll go ahead and I'll, um, I'll Icy Wind since that would KO the Lando. They should be focusing Spirit Tomb. I'd think. They could Rock Slide too. Honestly. But if my Togekiss survives this turn, I just win. As they fly, yeah. I'm good. I should eat the hit. There's the Kingdra. Let's go ahead and just go for the Foul Play and the Lando. And uh, I'll Starfall this Kingdra. Considering they can only KO one of these things. And then next turn, just Dazzling Gleam and I win. Nice bit of damage there. They fly the Toekiss. Lando's gone. That's game. GG. So I just go for my foul play here. Why not? Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Cynthia team once again pulling through. Awesome. 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 Let's get one more. I think I have time for one more. Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one more. We'll do one more battle. Hopefully we can get end this off with a win. And this is a really interesting hyper offense team. This is quite an interesting hyper offense team. We see a Blaziken on the other side of the field, but, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that that's um, support Thunderous and not Defiant Thunderous. It's probably Defiant. It's probably pretty obviously Defiant. Um, let me go Spirit Tomb. I'll go Spirit Tomb Milotic. Tokus in the back doesn't seem bad once the Thunderous is dealt with. 
Hang on to kill Garchomp. Yeah. So, hmm. Hmm. Assuming he's just gonna lightning me, I'm gonna go ahead and, or he could even airstream. I'm gonna attempt a burning jealousy and get in my Garchomp. As he reveals support, which is fine by me. I'll go ahead and I'll just Icy Wind here, lower their speed tiers. Not that it matters too much. And do I accept that I'm going to get switched out and just go for damage? No, nah, I'd rather not take that damage. I'll go ahead and I'll... Actually, I could Snarl here and get in my Lotic. Now that I know it's safe. Because they should just be Moonblasting me, and if they Moonblast into this Garchomp and they get a special defense, or a special attack drop on my Milotic, that'd be phenomenal news. As they might actually just be Electro Web Physical with not Prankster. Okay. Concerning. That's pretty concerning. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna Airstream you. I'm going to coil up. This is getting very scary. <laughs> I can't lie, this is getting very scary for me. I don't know what this Thunder says. I think it might actually be Defiant Thunderous, but just running Electroweb. Which isn't bad. That isn't a bad set, it's just confusing. I think I'd rather be facing Prankster Thunderous. But if they don't Tailwind this turn, I might be able to Hypnosis that thing. Alright, they Tailwind. They go for my Lotic, I love that. Okay, with the Whimsicott. Alright, they should be focusing down this Milotic right now. I would assume they'd be focusing down my Lotic, because they go with their own Togekiss. Let me go ahead and airstream here. I would assume they just follow me or something. And I'm just gonna give them this thing. I'm just gonna give it to them. Uh, I don't trust that they're not gonna just airstream my Garchomp. Guess I can try Hypnosis though. Ooh, I might've gotten the Hypnosis. Depends if they, yeah, they're gonna KO me. <laughs> I was hopeful, but I was not dumb. I was not dumb hopeful, you know? Let me see if I love this. Probably don't. Nope. Yeah, they're crit kiss. All right, GG. Unfortunately, I got nanated on by that uh, by that Electro Red Physical Thunders, which I'm not sure how common that is. I'm a bit out of practice when it comes to Pokemon because of the last month of work, but I'm glad I got to make a video today. I'm glad I got to make this video. So let me know what you guys thought about the Cynthia team. Uh, did you like it? You're going to use it if you want to use it. Uh, the Discord channel that is linked in my description down below. You can find all the teams that I use there. And yeah, with that, leave a like on it. Subscribe. Do whatever. See you in the next video. Bye.